Please you observe the previous videos in that nomenclature of all organic compounds. Then the topic halogen derivatives that is haloalkanes and haloarenes. Then one more video is available that is very useful. The halogen derivative entire topic in one shot. Okay. Then one more video is available to solve the numericals that is tricks and tips to solve the numericals that is useful for physical chemistry. Now let us start one of the topic from physical chemistry chemical thermodynamics. It is very important and useful in our day to day life. Actually Chemical thermodynamics has a large number of application, not only in chemistry, but also in different branches of science, engineering and technology. Okay, now let us start that topic. First contents of this topic in that first part, first subunit is introduction part. Then second is terms used in thermodynamics. Then Nature of work and heat. After that, expression for pressure volume type of work. Then, concept of maximum work. Then, work done in chemical reactions. And then, internal energy. Here, internal energy symbol is U. Then, consider first law of thermodynamics. After that, the enthalpy. Enthalpy means total heat content of the system. Then enthalpy is change in physical transformation. That is physical change. Then in thermochemistry, we are going to learn enthalpy change. That is change in enthalpy during chemical reaction. That is chemical processes. And lastly, the spontaneous process. That is irreversible process that is natural process or the spontaneous process means the process which takes place on its own accord. Okay, actually the main role of thermodynamics to explain the spontaneity of the reaction. Let us see the points one by one. First one is introduction part. First part, introduction part. All of you know what is energy. Yes, energy is a capacity to do work. Ability to perform work. Okay. If substance has a more energy, then more work will be there. Okay. Now different forms of energy. Yes, next forms of energy. Yes, we studied that. Different forms of energy. First one, consider kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, that is substance associated with different motions. Vibrational motion, rotational motion, etc. Due to that motion, that has a kinetic energy. Then potential energy. Potential energy, due to its position or the state of that matter, it has a potential energy. Then heat energy, that is thermal energy. Now hotter body transfers the heat towards the colder body, that is heat energy. Then radiant energy, that is light, that is energy associated with the light, radiant energy. Then electrical energy, chemical energy. So many other forms of energies are there, sound energy, mechanical energy, nuclear energy, etc. Okay, now see here, one form of energy can be converted into another form. For example, suppose a dam water. Dam water. Now dam water has potential energy due to its height from the ground. Okay. Now, when this dam water starts to flow down, then now this water has a 
kinetic energy due to its velocity. It means that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy here. Okay, that is one form converted into another form. Consider one more example. You know that one dry cell available in the at our home. Now in that cell, different chemicals are there. Different chemical reaction takes place in this. And that chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. Okay. Or exactly opposite. You know the electroplating of metal. In that what happens? Electrical energy is consumed. Okay. Electrical energy is consumed to carry out the chemical reaction. That is here electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. That is one form of energy can be converted into another form or forms. Means what? One form of energy can be converted into another form or forms. For example, at our home, electrical energy is supplied. Now that electrical energy is converted into light energy. Okay. Then mechanical energy that is fan or sound energy, radio. That is one form of energy can be converted into another form or forms. Okay. Now on this part, the question may be asked like this. What is energy? What are the different forms of energy? You can write S. Yes. Next. Now, next part. Consider, a, suppose A is converted into B. You know, this is a chemical reaction, chemical equation. Okay. Now, in thermodynamics, it is called as a process. Okay. Now, this process may be physical process. That is, physical change takes place. Or, maybe chemical change takes place. That is, Maybe physical transformation or chemical transformation. Now during that reaction, the change in energy, that is energy changes. The energy may be absorbed or energy may be evolved, etc. That is studied in thermodynamics. Okay, means what? Now question may be asked here, what is meant by thermodynamics? Okay, now. Thermodynamics is concerned with the energy changes during physical and chemical transformation. That is the thermodynamics. Very simple. Okay. Now, thermodynamics deals with the or in thermodynamics energy changes is studied. But what is not considered in thermodynamics? That is what are the limitations of thermodynamics? Now, suppose here... A converted into B. This is one process. In thermodynamics, rate is not considered. That is, how much time is required to complete this reaction, that is, what is the speed or velocity of that reaction, is not concerned in thermodynamics. Okay. Second thing, mechanism. How that reaction takes place, which bond breaks, etc. That is the mechanism. Mechanism is also not studied in thermodynamics. Means, now see here, the question may be asked on this part. Yes, F, what are the limitations of thermodynamics? Yes, remember only these two points. Rate, it does not give any information about rate and no information about the mechanism. That is our answer. Now, this is about the introduction part in that energy, different forms of energy, what is thermodynamics and what are its limitations. Okay. Now, let us start. Second point, different terms used in thermodynamics. What are the basic terms which are frequently required in thermodynamics? Second point, terms used in thermodynamics. Different basic terms or common terms are there which are frequently required in thermodynamics. Let us see that terms one by one. First one is system. What is meant by system? A part of the universe that is under thermodynamic investigation that is considered for thermodynamic study. Suppose a gas enclosed in a cylinder, it is a system. Or Simple example, in the laboratory, an open beaker, this beaker 
with the solution or any matter it is under thermodynamic study it is selected for thermodynamic study this is called as a system then the remaining part the remaining part that is called as a surrounding called as a surroundings now system plus surrounding is a universe now the system has a different types let us see the types of system types of system here this open beaker with suppose a hot solution or hot water is there boiled water is there here after some time what happens the temperature of this system cools down that is water cools down temperature decreases it means that this system exchanges energy with the surrounding that is here energy is exchanged with the surrounding okay here hot water or boiled water is here the vapors from that water exchange with the surrounding passes into the surrounding escape into the surrounding that is matter is also exchanged okay it means that here the system exchanges energy as well as matter with the surrounding such a system is called as open system okay it is a first type now let us see second type consider a beaker with a hot water that is a boiled water here okay and if i place a lid on this beaker that is it is closed that beaker is closed now what happens after some time this boiled water or that hot water cools down temperature decreases that is energy is exchanged with the surrounding yes energy is exchanged now what about matter that is here water vapors are there these are not escaped in the surrounding these are remain in the system that is matter is not exchanged with the surrounding such a system is called as closed system closed system means a system exchanges only energy with the surrounding and not matter okay now consider the one more type suppose a system again same hot water or boiled water here and that system is insulated that is by heat insulating jacket is here heat insulating jacket that is insulated insulation is there then what happens energy is not exchanged with the surrounding energy remains in the system as well as now this water vapors also does not leave the system that is matter is also not exchanged with the surrounding means a system does not exchange an either energy or matter is called as isolated system isolated system See here, you know the best example at our home. Thermos flask is available. Thermos flask. Oh, this is a thermos flask. Okay, in that suppose a uh, hot water is taken. Same thing here. Then what happens? Water vapors remains in the flask. Heat is also remain in the thermos flask. That is. this is a example of isolated system thermos flask is an example of isolated system here system surrounding and different types of 
sifting. Now consider the question based on this part as a homework. You have to solve that questions at home. Okay. And in next session, we will consider further terms of thermodynamics.